For many decades, stealth aircraft were only operated by one country, the United States. With an monopoly on this technology that left them with undisputed aerial dominance over their near peers, whom held no competition to counter this advantage. However, in 2018, this would change, as the first fully operational combat unit of stealth aircraft outside of the United States came into being. This unit would be compromised of a new fifth generation stealth fighter named the Mighty Dragon. China's new stealth fighter is designed to level the playing field with the United States and to give an advantage in potential operations against India and Taiwan in a conflict scenario. While the United States is still considered the top dog when it comes to stealth, China seems to have little other competition and show that it may be capable of competing with the US for dominance of the skies. This used to be a role played by the Soviet Union. However, since their fall, Russia has shown an inability to truly compete with US air power in a meaningful way. It seems that China, however, has taken a hold of this place quite comfortably. And while many may wish to write off any Chinese equipment, the truth is it's unwise to underestimate them. So is the J-20 another overrated wonder weapon or is it a genuine contender on the modern stage? Development began as far back as the 1990s in the Western designated JXX program an umbrella term for a variety of programs by the PRC to equip themselves with a fifth generation stealth fighter for future operations, with the general design concept of an aircraft which incorporates stealth, super cruise, super maneuverability and short takeoff capabilities. The result of this program was a competition between two companies to produce a fifth generation stealth aircraft. These companies were the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation and the Shenyang Aerospace Corporation. It would be the Chengdu's bid that would go on to win in what would become the J-20 Mighty Dragon. As you may expect, there is a large absence of information regarding the program due to the secretive nature of the project. So we're not sure exactly why the J-20 was chosen, but allegedly the Shenyang aircraft was the larger of the two and is claimed to be continuing in development further to aim for export success. On the 22nd of December 2010, the secretive prototype performed high-speed taxiing tests at the Chengdu Aircraft Design Institute. Then, a number of months later, the Mighty Dragon allegedly took its first flight on the 11th of January 2011. After the plane's success in many trials, it was followed by its inception into the Chinese military in 2017. Announcements for a two-seater version would be further speculated for use in electronic warfare tactical bombing and carrier strike roles, making it the first two-seater stealth fighter in the world. The development for the aircraft would not be completely without issues. The engines that were supposed to be fitted to the aircraft to enable this supercruise function were the Chinese-made WS-15 engines, which aimed to achieve up to 180 kilonewtons of thrust. A prototype managed to generate 160 kilonewtons in 2009 following years of development but there were a number of issues that delayed these engines being fitted. And instead, the less powerful Russian-made Saturn AL31FN engines were used as an alternative. However, in March 2023, the executive of the Aero Engine Corporation of China, the AECC, announced the serial production of the WS-15 engines had started, and China had, quote-unquote, tackled all technical bottlenecks with the WS-15. It's highly likely these engines will soon be fitted to J-20 models, with speculation on them being used on the latest prototype variant, the two-seater J-20S, which has a greater emphasis on electronic warfare and drone control capabilities. The J-20 Mighty Dragon is a close-coupled canard plane. It features a distinctive canard wing configuration, with smaller wings located towards the front of the aircraft ahead of the main wings. This close coupling of canard wings is one of the notable design elements of the J-20, contributing to its aerodynamic characteristics and manoeuvrability. 
The front canards as well as the rear moving vertical tail are however factors that somewhat degrade the stealth capabilities of this aircraft, but more on that later. The total length of the airframe is around 20.3 to 20.5 meters, which is around the same as an SU-57 but larger than an F-22 or F-35. The wingspan however is on the smaller end, reaching around 12.8 to 13.5 meters, which is on the smaller end compared to its competition. There is currently around 200 models claimed to be produced as of the time of recording. A healthy number which also means the J-20 is far ahead of the Russian Felon, which has failed to achieve even a quarter of that. This also places it just ahead of the F-22, which has ended production, but still much behind the F-35, which is now approaching around 1,000 airframes produced. Where the J-20 does shine, however, is range. Claimed to have a comet range of 1,200 miles. For comparison, here is how the Mighty Dragon's competition stacks up in this regard. Showing a clear edge likely due to the different conditions these aircraft would be used in, as carrier-based aircraft often require less range and ground-based operations against naval targets such as aircraft carriers require more, as well as NATO nations have an extensive tanker refuelling fleet allowing their aircraft to focus on other strengths than range. This is one key element that is important to remember. Every nation has different requirements and therefore lead to different strengths and weaknesses in certain areas. The long range of the aircraft to deal with hostile naval assets as well as aerial assets such as AWACS or refueler aircraft is also complemented by the fighter's ability to carry a payload of PL-15 and PL-21 BVR anti-air missiles to deal with such aerial targets and LS-6 satellite guided precision bombs to deal with ground targets. Six missiles can be kept in the internal weapons bays and more mounted onto the wings. However, this is highly unlikely to take place in a combat scenario against a conventional foe due to the large impact this would have on the aircraft's radar cross section. While the aircraft shows capable maneuverability, an interesting caveat that may see it struggling in a dogfight is its curious lack of an autocannon. It seems that China has taken the future concept of beyond visual range dense aerial combat with such confidence that they have decided a dogfight is a highly unlikely threat to the J-20, instead focusing on stealth and long range anti-air capability. The choice to entirely avoid an autocannon does seem somewhat perplexing however as there is still a risk of such combat taking place. So we've covered the capabilities of the J-20 Mighty Dragon, with its speed, range, payload and more. But you're probably wondering how stealthy is this aircraft? Because in the modern age, the stealth capabilities of a fighter are the defining factor in performance and may be their downfall, such as the case with the Su-57 Felon. This is not the case with the Chinese offering, however. The Chengdu's fighter uses a number of stealthy design choices that can be found on its competition, such as guarded intakes as is seen here on the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, as well as hidden fan blades due to the use of serpentine air intakes. There is also a presence of internal weapons bays to ensure that the missiles carried by the aircraft cannot affect the plane's stealth capabilities, and a stealthier engine setup than the Su-57 Felon, which seems to have forgotten stealth was even a factor. There is question as to how much the front canards of the Chinese fighter will degrade stealth, but from what we have seen, this has not had such a detrimental effect. However, when the aircraft is in flight, these moving parts may indeed create a radar cross-section spike. So far, very little is known of the J-20's true radar cross-section, and this has been kept a closely guarded secret, making it hard to truly know how hard this aircraft is to detect. Simulations on the shape of the aircraft alone have demonstrated that while not quite as good as aircraft like the F-35, the Mighty Dragon enjoyed much greater results than the Su-57, with a close enough gap to Western 5th generation offerings that it wouldn't be fair to simply write this plane off. It has clear potential and shows much promise. Western air dominance has not been suddenly eradicated, but it may have gotten harder to maintain in a conflict with the addition of this jet. There are claims by the Indian military that they could easily track the J-20, 
but this actually shouldn't come as a surprise. To hide the true level of stealth an aircraft has, militaries will often fit a device called a Lundberg lens, seen here on this F-35. What this achieves is making the aircraft easy to detect on radar, which can be useful in certain combat exercises or to make foreign governments unable to truly know if they could detect the specified aircraft on their radar. So it's important to remember this, when many claims of aircraft being so easily tracked are mentioned that nations would rather have their 5th generation fighters stand out during peacetime so that their potential adversaries are left not knowing whether or not they could really pick that aircraft up on radar. The elephant in the room with this aircraft is that much of its development was allegedly helped by a large scale data leak of the F-35 program, and this is a fair claim. China has shown much potential in espionage in recent years, but we cannot truly prove how much of this data was used. There is counterclaims that many in the West simply want to brush off any accomplishments as copycats, and to pretend that anything Chinese is simply cheap and worthless, which is a fair counterclaim and something we should avoid doing. The truth is, nations do partake in espionage, and while having a good air force is important, so is having the ability to steal classified information from an adversary. It would be silly to pretend that if China had managed to acquire such information to build this fighter, that it's anything less than impressive. In conclusion, the J-20 Mighty Dragon shows a lot of promise, and while many would like me to simply trash this aircraft, it simply wouldn't be fair. The J-20 is not the same as the SG-57. It has shown much more potential, with promising production rates which the Russian Federation could only dream of with their faulty felling. Sure, it's not shown any sign of being better than the F-22 or F-35, but it's important to remember that it is by no means a bad aircraft. And if many believe they will be facing this fighter in the future, then the most important thing for them to remember that while there is no need to outright fear the J-20, there is also no greater danger than underestimating your opponent. Thanks for watching guys, as always if you've liked this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out, and comment to let me know what you would like to see a video on next. If you want to go above and beyond helping the channel there is a Patreon link below where you can get early access to videos before they hit YouTube. I've been Kaboda, and I'll see you next time.